Well lads, what's the crack and welcome back to another new video on KTFG and today is your Man United vs Arsenal match preview. Now this is a massive match here, United, three wins in the bounce, last match was a 1-0 win over Leicester City, G at the Sancho getting the goal, it was another decent performance of course, at times in the match Leicester looked like the better team, but overall we did play good, especially in the first half overall. And well, we are hoping now to go 4-4 four from four against Arsenal, a team who have been brilliant in this season. I mean, after Manchester City, in my opinion, Arsenal are probably the best team in the Premier League. Uh, that does just sound really weird to say, but, you know, it's true. So, we're going to need to be at our very best in this match. It's going to be a very tight match, a very good match for the neutral as well, I do think. So, it's going to be an entertaining match. And hopefully United can get the win. But before we jump into my preview, make sure you are subscribed to the channel. Ninety-five percent of you who watch my videos are not subscribed. So if you're a new so if you so if you're a new viewer, and uh, make sure you are subscribed. Make sure you like the video as well. It really does help and support the channel. And make sure you click the bell so you're notified when I do upload. So enjoy today's Man United versus Arsenal match preview. Starting off in that sense, it's obviously going to be that with the Hyatt once again. I mean, he played play very good against Leicester City. I mean, that save from James Madison's free kick. That was unbelievable by David De Gea. And well, we're hoping for the same from him in this match here. So I think easily it's another choice for David De Gea in Nets. Left back, I've gone with Tyrell Malasia. Malasia once again with a brilliant match against Leicester City. Hoping he can keep that up. He's up against Bukayo Saka here. So it's not going to be an easy match for him, definitely. But, you know, he's pocketed Salah and uh, so far in this season. I can think he can pocket Saka as well. So, Malasia then is an, is an left back for me. At right back, Diogo Dallo. Dallo was outstanding against Leicester City. You know, some of that defensive work he did put in was amazing. Then going forward as well, he had some of the crosses he was putting in. And of course, most of them are very unlucky. But overall, his crossing ability is brilliant. He's finally getting better at defending as well. So, a no brainer here once again. Dallo has a start at right back. So, yeah, Malasia and Dallo are my two full backs for this match. First centre back then, Rafael Varane. He absolutely pocketed Jamie Vardy in the last match. And well, he was had another stellar performance at the back there. It was definitely Varane's best performance. Well, maybe not his best performance. I mean, he had he played very good against Liverpool as well. But Leicester City here last time. He was definitely he's probably my man of the match in last in that last match. So obviously here Varane is going to be starting in this one. And alongside him then Lissandro Martinez. Once again, a very solid match in. But once again, it's brilliant. he's played brilliant once again at the back. So, I mean, once again, it's a no-brainer here. Varane and Martinez have to be the two centre-backs. CDM then, I've got Casemiro. McTominay, I know at times he'd have his moments in that match, but he gave the ball away a lot, in my opinion. He get, didn't give away a lot, but he did give it away every now and then. He was giving away a few uh, cheap fouls, really, that he shouldn't have been giving away. Casemiro did come on for a wee bit in the match, but he also did give the ball away a few times. You know, he still was looking a bit um, shaky at times in that match. But, you know, we need to get him a first 90 minutes uh, under his belt here. So, I think Casemiro has to start in this match. I mean, he needs to be a starter in this team. And McTominay, even if you do trust him, even if he does give you a few good games, uh, every uh, sooner than later, he's going to let you down. So, Casemiro then, I think, needs to get his first start in this match. And he should be our CDM here against Arsenal. First midfielder, Christian Eriksen. He actually got the man of the match in this match. Uh, by the people who do choose man of the match. He actually did have a good match against Leicester City. I was noticing him a lot more. A few good passes here and there. Should have maybe gotten an assist, but who knows. Uh, Christian Eriksen did have a good game. Hoping for another good game here as well. Hoping we can maybe get a goal in this one. Maybe even assist as well. So, I'm saying Eriksen then should start in midfield. And finally then, Bruno Fernandes as well. Bruno, once again, a few of the passes he's making. Simply outstanding. We're finally seeing old Bruno Fernandes back. It's exciting now, definitely, because Bruno, I mean, he had a bad season last year. Now he's finally getting back to his best by the looks of things. So, once again, obviously, he's going to start in midfield in this one. So, Casemiro, Eriksen and Bruno Fernandes are my three midfielders. On the left wing, I've got Marcus Rashford. Rashford got an assist in the last match, which is good and all. Yeah, his overall performance wasn't at his best, in my opinion. But, unlike from last season when he was performing bad, he, at this time he was actually working. He was actually trying to perform good, it just wasn't happening there in that last match for him. He still got he still did get an assist for himself to be fair. So it wasn't all too bad. He did still have many good moments in that match, but he still does need to improve in a few things. At least he's still trying. At least he's determined now to get a uh, good uh, performances in instead of last season just being lackadaisical, not even giving a uh, care really in the world really. So I mean Rashford looks like he's finally getting back to his best. 
hoping for a big performance here against Arsenal. I've got him out in the left. On the right, I've got Jadon Sancho, of course, to get the goal, took it around the goalie and slotted it in. Sancho's looking really scary at the moment and well. I, mean, I fear for uh, Zinchenko or Tierney or whoever is going to be starting in left back for this one because Sancho is going to be given whoever Arsenal start at left back in this match nightmares. It's not going to be a good match for the Arsenal left back. So I've come with Jadon Sancho then on the right wing. And up top, I've got Cristiano Ronaldo then. Bit of a controversial one here, but I have gone with Ronaldo in this team. Now, Ronaldo did come on, uh, of course, against Leicester. Many said he didn't do too great, but I thought he was okay, to be honest. I mean, he was trying. He, his work rate was there, definitely. He had a few decent chances. I mean, he almost did score a beautiful overhead kick as well. So, I mean, just gotten lucky there. But, you know, he's working. He's definitely determined still, despite getting a failed transfer in the, the uh, last transfer window. I mean, I think start him in this match, put him up top. Uh, give him chances from Sancho, Bruno, Rashford, Eriksen. I mean, there's the players there who can supply him with chances. And I'm telling you now, I don't care if he's 17 years old, I don't care if he's 37 years old, he will give you goals if the chances are there. And there's four brilliant players there who can create chances in this team. I didn't even mention Diogo Dallo as well. He can put in brilliant crosses. Uh, I think Ronaldo, if he does start in this match, he can definitely get one or two goals here. So, I mean, I know Ten Hag mightn't like it, you know, it's... Uh, Gliding away from his plan of just keeping the same 11. But I think we need to switch it up here a wee bit, despite a line go working well still. I think we need to switch it up here a wee bit in this match, and we should start Ronaldo up top. Give him chances, and I tell you, he is going to score a few goals. So, Ronaldo, then I've got a striker. And that will end this Man United versus Arsenal match preview. I hope you did enjoy it. Remember to like, share, and subscribe, and turn on the notifications. Thank you all for the support on the channel once again. I really do appreciate it. And see you all once again in KTFG. Very, very soon.